What's up guys? This is my updated review of the Atmos Raw Vaporizer and I'm making this second video because there's been some new developments with this product and there were a few questions left unanswered after the first one. So if you're thinking about buying one of these there's a few things you need to know. The manufacturer of the Atmos Raw kind of messed up in my opinion when they released this device and ended up causing a lot of confusion for everybody. Basically the way that Atmos ships these out you will combust your herbs and smoke will be coming out if you use it the way that it comes and if you follow their directions. And they will plainly admit that they do not include a screen inside the chamber. So if you have one of these with a the screen in it, that was aided by someone else. Now just note that this is true as of the time I'm making this video, but I do expect them to produce and include a proper chamber screen sometime in the near future if they know what's good for them anyway. So basically, what you're told to do is fill this heating chamber here with your herbs then take this chamber connector piece and screw it right into place like that then press the power button on the front to engage the heating coil and the heating coil is located at the bottom of the herb chamber that you put your herbs in now doing this basically makes this device perform like an electric pipe even though they call it a vaporizer and to actually get the Atmos Raw to produce vapor you need to add parts to the heating chamber that are not normally included in the retail packaging. And this is where things get even more confusing. So I've contacted Atmos about this issue and what they did was they mailed me this glass honeycomb screen piece to put in the bottom of the chamber. This little piece was their solution to the problem and they will admit that this piece was not normally included or at least it wasn't when I bought mine. And just so you could see this is really a very tiny little glass piece kind of looks like a honeycomb that's why they call it that alright but after testing this new piece they gave me that you're supposed to place inside the heating chamber before you put your herbs in let it drop to the bottom there I am unfortunately still not satisfied with the way that this thing performs as a vaporizer my drawers would go from very light vapor to straight smoke in a matter of a second I still got combustion just by following the directions they gave me with this new glass screen piece. So what happens is if you hold down the power button for too short of a time, all you get is extremely light vapor. That's not very impressive. But then if you hold down the button too long, you get combustion. So it's very difficult to find a happy medium and get it to really work right with this piece in there that they gave me. In my opinion, it's also not a very practical solution because as you saw, it's extremely tiny and you could lose that thing very easily and remember that every time you empty your chamber this this piece would come falling out which makes it even easier to lose now to show you that it did in fact combust even with the glass honeycomb screen piece installed that they gave me this is a magnified view of the spent herbs taken under a USB microscope in case you're not familiar with what vaped herbs normally look like this picture was taken from herbs in the volcano this one's from the Extreme Q. This one's from the NO2. This one's from the launch box. And again, this is what came out of the Atmos Raw with the screen piece installed that Atmos themselves told me would work. Now, what is happening is some stores are realizing that this thing is not a true vaporizer out of the box, and they started installing screens inside the heating chambers themselves before they sell them to you. That's why you may have seen some people saying that they did receive theirs with a the screen and that they do get vapor and it doesn't combust. They're actually using modified devices to get the desired performance. Which is why I think it's weird that Atmos would call this device a vaporizer and release it to the public performing the way that it does without something installed in here. Now I still haven't figured out exactly what kind of screen actually works or what kind of screen is being modified to fit in here but I can show you one other thing that I tried. So even though I really wasn't thrilled about ghetto rigging my device, I went ahead and modified a few screens I had laying around to try to see what kind of vapor I could get this thing to produce. The best I could do with the parts I had was this thing. All right, It's just a very small piece of screen that I cut and tried to shape into something that would fit inside here. And while my herbs did not combust with this screen installed, which was a good sign, I unfortunately couldn't really get it to produce any worthwhile vapor either. 
So I'm guessing that this little screen that I made either doesn't go down far enough into the chamber, or maybe it's not flat enough on the bottom. Not really sure. I also didn't want to try to force this screen too far down the chamber, because you could damage it in here if you're not really careful. It's ceramic inside there. And as you might be able to see on the camera, the edges of my ceramic chamber in here actually started to chip a little bit for me trying to squeeze a screen in there. So you really got to be careful. Now I know that some people have screens in theirs that fit better than this one and do go farther down the chamber. And I've seen them get some pretty decent vapor from this. So I'm going to keep trying different parts until I find something that works better. And I'm sure that sometime soon an official screen piece will be offered that will fit in here properly. It just hasn't happened yet as of the time I'm making this video. And this device came out months ago. So hopefully Atmos gets their act together soon. Now in case you haven't seen my first video, I actually like using this thing anyway, the way that it comes, and I find it very handy, but that's because I don't vape 100% of the time. Most people looking to buy this are looking for a good portable vaporizer, and as the vape critic, I am supposed to be reporting on actual vaporizers, so I do hope you understand my thoughts on this given my position. I think it is a really cool product, and it has the potential to produce actual vapor with modifications. But you really shouldn't have to modify your device or get extra parts for it after you buy it. If they're going to call it a vaporizer, it should really produce vapor for everybody right out of the box. So despite the complex situation with this one, the reasons I like it are that it's nice and small. It's very convenient to carry around. Um, it's super easy to use. Once you pack it up, you just press down the power button to get the heater going. And the battery lasts a very long time. I've been getting 60 plus draws off of each charge. So if you're someone like me who doesn't vaporize 100% of the time, I think that you would probably enjoy this and get good use out of it. Otherwise, if you really like how this thing looks and you're willing to put in a little work to get it to produce real vapor, or you're confident that they're going to come out with a perfect fitting screen soon, it might be worth grabbing one. So if you do decide to get one, I put a link in the description to the store I recommend you go to. Uh, there's some great guys over there, and they're very helpful and customer-oriented, so definitely check them out. Otherwise, if you want to learn some more about other vapes and watch a few more videos, check out my website, vapecritic.com. Alright, if you have any questions or comments, send them my way. Thanks for watching, and stay up.